Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have 1 Corinthians 1557. But thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. So yeah, just keeping it together. Just having a lot of little issues. Um, last week I did not podcast because I didn't have time. Uh, well, I had time. It's just a uh, roommate was on vacation all week and I didn't have time to do it where it wasn't in the way of what roommate was doing. So, um, yeah, <laughs> uh, just lots of little things. So, um, I am going to start flat out with the, let's see, the sewing stuff. The only thing I've been doing crochet is I've been working on that white sweater. Okay. Um, I'm doing the sleeves right now. Uh, and then once I get those done, I'm just going to keep going back and forth across the bottom. I did a little embroidery. I'm going to cover two weeks on this um, because I've been working on it just haphazardly. So if you remember, I talked about um, that garage sale that I got. A little bit of fabric and some yarn and then I had picked up these little bookmarks and so I made two and I just matched the thread to the um, flowered ribbon and I have blessed and I have faith so yeah I made those two um, now I did do one thing and that is on the, I used the stabilizer, but I also used, because I didn't know how this would do, um, I spooled the bobbin of the same thread so that if it did leak through, these wouldn't be ruined. Um, I'm not sure that I got, because I, I'm not sure that I got them well, they puckered is what I'm trying to get at. They're very wavy and puckered. Um, if I pull taut like it was pinned down, it looks great. But then when I took the pins out, not so great. So yeah, but just for regular, I think they look awesome. So I made those two. Um, then because I had green spooled up, and actually, I did these because I had green spooled up, okay? Um, if you'll notice, that green doesn't match exactly. But it's green, so that works. Um, I did the three hankies. i make sure I have, don't have warm peanut butter underneath my fingernails before I do this. Uh, I don't. All right. So I have the three hankies for the wedding and I did bride. Oops. And there is a little um eyelid corner and that's what I did. So I did bride, mom, grandma. So those are my gift to her for her wedding day. Um and I don't know if she's going to have a shower. I don't know if she's, you know, I don't know what's going to go on. So I'm just holding on to them for now. So I did those little things. And then to top all that off, um, I finished the blocks. Okay. Uh, I've been sewing on them for a little bit now. And I finished... The last row last night, I finished these uh, seven. Now, remember, I've done six rows of seven. I still have to um, put in, I'm going to cut two inch strips to put together um, to put between them. Um, and then I'm going to do two inch strips all the way. That'll put an inch and a half between each block. When I laid it out, it's going to be more than big enough. So I'm cool with it. So I do have, 
enough of these. The only thing that I have to figure out <laughs> is, so it's seven rows tall, and it's six blocks wide. Um, I have to figure out if uh, the seven blocks are going to come together in alternating. So I laid it out, I just laid out the rows, and I had, there was some uh, fabric for my stash that I could do two blocks with. So when I did that, I wanted them, you know, I wanted to create a pattern with those, and then just the middle is just independent ones. So I basically did um, the frame in matching ones opposite as they moved around. So um, yeah, there's that. And I did the bottom row and the next row and then the next row. And then I did the top to mirror those just opposite with opposite colors. Um, one peach, one green, you know, so I don't know if when it comes together, if it's actually going to come together the way I need it to with the row in the middle with the peach and the green. I may have to reverse it or whatever, but it should. I don't know. I'm going to have to lay it out, not just um, on the bed with them kind of overlapping. I'm going to have to lay it out on the floor um, and see it all laid out to make sure that it's going to lay out the way I want it. If not, I'll think of another pattern. Just say it. <laughs> um, so there was one other thing that happened, and this is part of why uh, I didn't podcast. And it's not funny and it's led to some problems at work and so I'm kind of but I will show you so if you see this side of my face I'm a little pudgy right here but not really you know but if you take and look here this side is all swollen so I got bit by a bug and it bit me right there okay so this Part is very swollen it goes like this this goes in and down this goes even so I got bit by a bug um, I had an allergic reaction I am covered in a rash which no longer um, like I look one girlfriend looks and she's oh my god you're a strawberry I have red dots it looks like somebody took a red dotted marker and put it all over my body um, at this point they're not itching anymore the doctor said it would take two weeks for that to go away. Um, but I, at work, I am not treated very fairly. Um, and when I tried to take off because uh, Friday, all of this was swollen. Like my eye was half swollen shut. You couldn't see my little crow's feet. My nose it was all puffy through here. Not enough that unless you really knew me, you couldn't tell because it was only a little bit puffy. Okay. Other than this right here, which is like a friggin' softball. Um, but if you didn't know me, you couldn't tell. Okay. And I was itching to beat the band. I mean, oh my God, everything itched. I couldn't sit still. So Friday we had a retirement party at work. One of the girls was off. They were shorthanded. So I knew it and I went in. Okay, let me preempt this by saying I have tried to take off for a candlelight vigil. And I was told if one of the bankers would cover for me, then I would be allowed to leave early. All I asked for was to leave an hour early. Um, Worms follow-up appointment is this Friday when I went in to try and get the time. I, I wanted half a day so I didn't have to drive to work for an hour and 15 minutes and then drive back and forth and back and forth. Spend my whole lunch hour doing that. Um, and uh, I walked out with a juggled schedule. You know, I wanted half day off. I've got PTO. You guys, I've got 170 
nine hours of PTO, but I'm not being allowed to take it. But it, other people are, and I don't understand it. And it comes down to front end coverage. Well, we don't have any, there's only one of me and they make me feel like anybody who has to cover for me so I can take off is doing me this big favor. Um, they don't want me to take off, but they want to say that they think of the person. Um, I, like I said, I went in last week to try and get Worm's appointment this Friday to get half a day off. And basically, she juggled the schedule so that my lunch is from 10 to 11 and told me it was okay if I was late. And I literally stood there and told her it takes me 15 minutes to get to, to work. 15 minutes to get back, 15 minutes to get, I said, I'm going to be driving that whole hour. I'm not going to get here on time. And she's, oh, Sarah, I'll be here. So, you know, it, it'll be fine if you're a little late. I don't get it. I don't understand how I have all these hours and that I'm told to use them. Um, the president of the bank stood up and told everybody there's no award for person, perfect attendance. We're providing you with this benefit. Use it. The head of HR stood in another meeting and said, it's yours to use as you see fit. But I'm not being allowed to take it. Friday, so Thursday, I was actually bit Wednesday. Thursday, it was just a little swollen and heated and I itched. As the day progressed, my whole neck looked like I was red, like sunburnt red. You could push on it and it just, everything started to swell and move down through my body. And I mean, my legs, I'd stand up and walk. I got through Thursday. By the time I got home, I jumped in a baking soda bath um, and that called the doctor. He put me back on my allergy medicine to get all that out. He said, it's going to help with itching, blah, blah, blah. I said, okay. Um, as you know, I've had allergic reactions to things before. Um, so, uh, Friday, I knew that the girl that normally covers for me was going to be gone. So there was no coverage. And by like 930, I knew I wasn't going to make it. I could not sit in the chair. I couldn't do anything. I just itched. Um. So sitting there, broke out in hives, and half my face swollen at this point. And I was told if they could get so-and-so to come and cover me, I could go home. How nice of them. So today, I am going in to talk to my boss's boss about it. Because the company portrays one thing, but they do another. Okay. Um, they say they're all about their employees. Take care of the employees and you'll benefit. How are they taking care of me? They're not. Okay. With a medical condition, I wasn't even allowed to leave. One of my three. It's not like I take off for just any highfalutin thing. Oh, I want to go shopping. Let me go. No. Um, the first time that I was um allowed to leave early for a candlelight vigil maybe she said it wrong maybe that, that maybe that was a mistake okay when i came in to use pto to take care of my dog's health that became a pattern when they refused to let me go when I was obviously in distress, that became policy. So the first time was a mistake. Second time became a pattern. And by the third time, that means it's policy. Okay. Why would they do it three times in a row if it wasn't the policy not to take care of their employees, not to let them take, you know, I don't have any problems getting days if I schedule you know, a vacation, a week out or two months out or whatever, not even a week. It, it has to be in the months. If I schedule it months out, they don't say anything. 
But if I have an emergency come up, I have a personal errand that I have to do, something you can't pre-schedule, you know, just life's little tasks, the dog getting sick and, and having to have a follow-up appointment, um, that kind of stuff you can't plan for. But I can't get that stuff off. And that is not fair because I see everybody else there taking time off, taking doctor's appointments off, taking, you know, this, that, and the other that I know are daily stuff that you can schedule and get taken care of, but not me. So I'm dealing with that at work. Um, my face does itch a lot and it just ugh, drives me crazy. But this part right here, as you can see, is not the same as that. It, it just kind of looks funny. I look very disproportionate. <laughs> and yes, I'm going to work today. I'm going to talk to my boss though and see Ooh, why I can't use my PTO as I feel fit and why I'm being allowed to do this or allowed to do that. I'm not three years old. I'm a grown woman and I know when I need to go to the doctor and I know when I need to take care of my business. So I'm going to talk to her about that. And it's not even my boss. It's my boss's boss. So it's going to be a fun day. Anyway, um, I do plan on going by Hobby Lobby and picking up the material to do the strips. And then I'm going to start working on putting strips in between them after I get it laid out to make sure it is exactly how I want the pattern to work out. So, all right, you guys have listened to me great enough. I uh, love y'all. Um, RJ is rodeoing. Um, saw him this weekend, just so you know, uh, he's doing okay. He's not doing great, but he's doing okay. So he's working on getting to that NFR quality. So anyway, I will talk to y'all later. Oh, oh, wait, one last thing. The pond is full. Finally, after a year and a half of drought, the pond at the farm is full again. So yay, they're uh, out of drought conditions. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great week and I will see you next time. Bye.